You mole rats, my gosh. Tap dancing mole rats, wow. What's up everyone? Glad to have you back. And I'm pretty sure he is also. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Sammy. What I do is I react to different films every day. And most of those uh, days are themed. So today would be Thursday Shorts, tomorrow would be Friday Night Frights. Tomorrow we're ever gonna get into a, a horror series that uh, apparently I've never gotten into and that's Paranormal Activity. And it's something that I want to push myself to watch late at night. And again, if you guys have watched it or you guys have not watched it, I welcome you to, you know, go along this journey with me. Again, I'm super grateful if you are uh, here for the first time or you're returning. My whole goal for uh, doing these reactions, uh, discover, discover more films that I have not seen. I have seen a lot of films, but there's a lot that I have not seen. Expand visual literacy. You know, Martin Scorsese says he talks about how much emphasis we put on reading literacy in terms of, you know, building your vocabulary, sentence structure, cadence, tone. You know, the same thing is applicable to something on a visual medium. Uh, the more films you see, just like the more good books you read, you will eventually become a better filmmaker. It's by proxy, these great authors, they read a lot of books and great filmmakers, they watch a lot of film. Beyond this being an uh, like an entertainment channel as in, you know, just watching my reaction to stuff, I think it's very important also for us to grow like as a community and also, you know, individually in terms of if you're working in the visual medium, you can even be in graphic design, that's considered visual or whether you are directly into filmmaking, whatever it is, there's so much good that can come out of, you know, just watching some of the best and also some of the worst film that comes to my mind when I when I'm on this subject is like uh, Nicholas Winding Refn, his film Only God Forgives film. There was so much anticipation. I was, you know, there was so much riding on that film. And, you know, when he, uh, it premiered at Cannes, I think at Cannes there was a good reception, but overall it was just not, it just did not land. And, you know, they even, um, I think his wife shot a documentary about um, the whole process of the film, the filmmaking process and all the way up to Cannes. And even though the film was panned and, you know, it does not stand up against, it doesn't compare against Drive, I think there's still, there, you know, there's still something to admire. There's still something to admire. Not saying that I'm ever going to react to a Serbian film, because I'm most likely not, unless, you know, by popular demand and by the court of public opinion, they say, late nights with Sammy, Sammy has to react to a Serbian film. You know, even those behi uh, those people behind that film, I mean, again, it's a film 99.99999% of people are not going to watch, but again, uh, whoever was behind the camera and the team behind it, I don't know why they made that film, but again, there's a level of mutual respect. If you by if you by accident, you know, stumble across my channel and you know you land on a Thursday short that you have not seen, and then you end up seeing them, and it inspires you to make a short film, and your short film becomes a feature. You get you see what I mean? You know, it's it's it all goes back, and you know I'll try my best to have a video up every day you know if we can share and we can spread the word of good cinema you know there's no there's no harm in doing so and but if you get something out of this that's even a plus 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 and again you can show your support to the channel but actually you're showing your support right now just by viewing it you know you can like it comment you know share with me what are your uh, favorite films share with me uh, you know you know what uh, what you would like to see and, and these thematic days or you know even if you have a short film send it over and I'll be more than happy to react to them everybody and their grandmother calls up subscribe you know subscribe subscribe you know if you feel inclined to um, I thank you again if you if you dislike or if you like yeah this channel sucks again I'm not gonna hold anything against you I'm so glad you are coming along on this journey with me I know he is to this awesome short film called The Burden. Stop motion, might I add. Ready? Let's go. And if you guys want to see the full interview with the director at the Berlin Film Festival, I'll have it in the description below. All right, we're setting up the world. I like it. Whoa. 
I I I did not see this coming. <laughs> Hotel long stay. Oh man. Wow. Okay, I've not seen anything like this. I have bad skin. <laughs> I I I don't know who is you know singing and what the what like modulation they have on the voice, but it's so funny and so unique. Interesting. You have very these socially isolated characters. <laughs> he wanted to go to room seven. Now he is in room twelve. <laughs> Yeah, just by the opening shot, I can feel like this film is going to be, you know, going towards a uh, type of, like, it feels sad. Like, even from the opening, you know, something feels, everything feels very detached. The mole rats, my gosh. Tap dancing mole rats, wow. You gotta love short films that ha that you know they have kahunas, man. Kind of feels like uh, Wes Anderson-y, like the sort of symmetrical layouts. <laughs> Mole rats working in a in a fast food restaurant with hamburgers. Hello, hello. Yeah, but then they go back to reality and <laughs> they're working graveyard shifts. Ja, men jag ska fatta mig kort. Det här går snabbt. Är du intresserad av att spara pengar? Att få lite mer i hushållskassan helt enkelt? Ja, men bra! Då stänger vi av till det. No, no. They're all, they're all calling. Bamorna är en gratis! Nu erbjuder vi även... No hidden charges. <laughs> It's obviously a... Commentary on like my life is drifting away. Yeah, it's I feel like it's a type of satire like the whole musical element is a, a satirical take on like these kind of jobs So the first one was in a hotel I guess and the second one as a you know restaurant restaurant em employee oh, Okay, I like that. I like that last part Well, so every all, all these employees, their lives are drifting away as they keep serving well consumers, right? I guess that's the yeah, okay. So like the hotel, not so sure about the hotel one, but I can see the connection between the mole rats and and this specific segment. They're constantly in a loop of um, servitude while you know people just come out, come and go. And I guess the only time when they, they get to express themselves when everybody's sleeping. So during the evening, uh, I'm guessing that's why this whole film is taking place at night. I love the the voice modulation. It's so unique. Okay, and now we have a common theme of, you know, dreams. Dreams and aspirations because, you know, the mole rats were tap dancing. They were great tap dancers, but they were, you know, they were working in a, a fast food restaurant. Man, <laughs> everything is just falling. I get, oh, it, production design wise, this is a very, very impressive short film. I can see why it won 80 plus awards. Uh, this was back in 2020 when there was talk with the director at the Berlin Film Festival, but I'm pretty sure it probably will won even more. <laughs> And stop motion is a medium where you know when you when you really do it well, it is you know anybody who sees it, you just admire it immediately because there's a quality to like there's a quality to it that's you cannot replicate it you know even through like After Effects or whatever have you like a, any tutorial on YouTube to replicate the style of a stop motion. It's not possible. It does not compare. <laughs> Oh, 
when the burden is lifted from my shoulders no sickness no aches i guess i guess that means when you know society places a burden on them to fulfill the fulfill their own uh, i like how it's happening in a, like a mini mall <laughs> I will climb the ladder of happiness. The burden of serving society, once that has been lifted, they will climb up the ladder of happiness. I love that it's happening within a contained strip, like a strip mall. <laughs> It's so funny, the fish is just looking directly up. <laughs> and again, you must, you have to love, you know, these type of films that have like social commentary, but then embed it within a very, very uh, set world and like very, very creative. You can come away with anything, right? It can be, you can, you can probably see social commentary in almost anything, but some films make it a little bit more transparent. Again, I like that. that. <laughs> Floating town. Oh, so, so imaginative. Like, <laughs> when the cars are on the highway, like when they're on the road, where do they drive? Wow. Hmm. Okay, thoughts. Let's go off from the very uh, obvious. Really, really awesome in terms of creativity, like having it to be a, like a semi-musical and semi semi dialogue it's it's very very cool to see something like this again my immediate reference to something like this would be Wes Anderson again with the like almost the super neat geometric symmetrical style but I think in terms of you know it being number one a short film and what it was able to get across within you know I think there's like what so we have the fish we have the, I think they're, yeah, monkeys, uh, fish, monkeys, and then the dog, and the mole rat. So within four separate categories. I'm trying to think whether, why these four separate categories. So we have hotels where people live. Um, like that's a, that's a very, that's a very important uh, establishment where people eat, where people, okay, I'm not so sure about the monkey one, but I, I get the supermarket. Uh, okay, okay, but another thing is, you know, how the, with the with the segment with the with the callers, how you, he like their profession was, you know, do you want to make more money? Uh, do you want to make more? Do you want to put more money in your wallet? Okay, turn off the television. It's kind of funny how that was, how the per you can you can assume whoever uh, he called or she called that they said okay you know what, if you can, we, can, we can make more money, sure, we'll turn off the television. And he, uh, you know, there was a group uh, of people and it looked like that phone call was going to keep going on. And it's funny how they were proposing for somebody else to make money and they're stuck in a, like a, a mundane job and how almost, again, I think the whole, um, the whole film and their own commentary is that you know um, these specific types of jobs where people are working um, you know like blue collar working jobs they bear the burden of everybody else's dreams before their own uh, I'll, I'll, I'm not so sure why the director chose to use animals as opposed to humans but I think again it's a very interesting approach by doing so, and I will listen to the uh, Berlin. Um, it's, I think it's about an hour-long interview at the Berlin Film Festival. But I will, I will listen to it. But again, and another thing is in terms of um, like production. Like if we're going to talk about production design, costume design. I know the director did all the costumes, but again, very unique in terms of. I like, I like the mole rats. Not, not like they didn't have to speak at all. Each one had a very specific outfit, you know, when to, like uh, that I can remember off, and very specific light lighting for each one. I like, <laughs> I like hotel long stay, and you know, okay. Here's another thing uh, that I'm just now thinking of is that how like each one it felt like a contained environment, but at the same time it looked like a prison, like they were they were stuck. They were stuck there, and again, uh, when you know they were all clapping, and they, they were saying, "You know, we're gonna, we're going to climb the ladder of happiness." Almost like they're stuck down there with that burden off. You know, everybody is at a different level. 
again, this social commentary might be very, very transparent and you guys might have gotten it way ahead of me. But the, I guess the way I see it is like they are way below and they're on a segment like a rock or like a dead town within within like the underbelly of you know a thriving society where they uh, once once they're out of that you know stage in their life they get to climb up and then uh, you know um, make it through again I'm not so sure whether the director is, uh, is that's her point as in you know our our whole unhappiness with you know regular jobs like serving jobs like you know uh, nine to, like uh, I would guess you can call, uh, I, I'm not I'm not remembering the word for like okay nine let's say nine to five jobs where the majority of like task is to serve other people and I'm not so sure whether uh, the director's commentary is that we are overtly unhappy with our own positions as people that would serve others and their dreams and whether or not um, you know this whole entrepreneurial grind spirit whether it's something that we're lacking or whether it's something that um, keeps dividing those that do not aspire. Like, I guess the one, again, th throughout all the four segments, I, I would suppose the one with the mole rats, I enjoy that one the most. Not because there was no dialogue or no singing, but it was just so interesting because the mole rats were so talented, right? And they were working, they were working, again, I, I'm sort of, I'm sort of doing that thing where I'm saying they're so talented, but they're working a, um, you know, they're working in a fast food chain. Again, what's wrong with working in a fast food chain? You're serving others, but at the same time, it's a, it's a, it's a dependable job. There's nothing wrong with it. And uh, again, I'm not so sure whether the the director is, is um, making a commentary on like, um, certain jobs are, you know, whether they're above. Like society views certain jobs as unable to make you happy, unable to fulfill your creative potential, and um, whether or not you know people are sacrificing their own potential for their creative output just so that they can survive in this world, and you know until they get to the point of you know I'm a little bit above the survival stage, that's when I'm going to climb the ladder. The ladder of happiness again I think there's another way of looking and interpreting this film but that's sort of my interpretation of it but really really wonderful piece glad uh, glad I stumbled across it and I hope you guys are too and you guys you know you guys tell me what you think about the film in the comments below and again if you have recommendations for future short films uh, to for me to check out or whether you guys have any um, personal short films that you want me to react to I'll be more than happy to do so and um, stay tuned for tomorrow um, we're going to be watching the paranormal activity for our you know second Friday night frights and yeah I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys are having a great day number one having a great day number two you guys are safe Number three, you guys are smiling because, you know, it's not the end of the world. We should always be smiling. And number four, or number three, no, okay, number four, if you, again, if you guys want to support the channel, I would so appreciate, you know, you know, a, a comment. If you like, if you like this type of content, you know, like and, you know, hit that button. Everybody and their grandmother call subscribe. And, yeah, my name is Sammy. This is another late night. And I'll see you back tomorrow. In the meantime, I need you guys to peace. To be peaceful and peace out. Peace out. Peace out.